Hello everyone and welcome back to my studio. Today is part four in my tutorial series where we are building our own fully functioning miniature kitchen. And I'm continuing with the theme of salvaging for material to make a miniature. In this case, I have this uh, deeply destroyed pen that I found. Now this is a, uh, a click pen which is critical. So if you want to follow along in this project, try your best to find uh, a click spring pen that is already broken or maybe it's out of ink. Uh, ideally, we don't want to be using a fresh material that still has life left in it. Uh, we want to find something that's dead, but if you can't find something like that, then um, go ahead and just use a regular pen. So you can see that this pen is super broken, very, very broken and the parts that we're going to take out of it. So you can take the tip of the pen. Usually the tip will either twist off, but in this case it just is a friction fit. So it pulls right off. And we are going to be using the ink tube and the spring in this project. Now, the primary tool that we're going to be using in this video are our needle nose pliers. So if you don't have a pair of these, do your best to uh, find a pair, buy a pair, um, but they have been a part of the past videos and are the most essential tool when it comes to making miniatures. So this is a thing that it really helps to own for this project. Now, the first thing that we have to do is straighten this spring. So we've got our spring and the pen shaft. Thread the spring onto the shaft, and then if you can, grab the very top bit of wire. And then you are just going to unfold it, essentially uncoil it from the spring. So I've got that started. You can see that this top piece right here has just started to come loose. So what we can do now is holding on to the pen tube is to just pull and start unwinding our spring as such. And we've ended up with a slightly jumbled piece of wire, but it's much straighter than it was when it was a spring. So the next thing that we're gonna do is we're going to grip one end of it and then using our fingers, we're just going to attempt to bend it a little straighter. Now, this doesn't need to be perfectly straight, but the straighter that we can get it, the better. So at this point, we've sort of straightened our spring, but we have this nice piece of metal. And what we're going to do is we're going to try to calculate the length of it in thirds. And I have a way of doing this that is, uh, is kind of easy. So in this case, what I've done is I've just coiled it up three times. And that's going to give me the approximate length. I'll grab my wire clippers. Clip. And they may not go all the way through because this is so thin, so you can clip and then just wiggle it off the end to complete the cut. So the next thing that we're going to do is taking the pen tube. Uh, now you'll see that this pen tube is white. I do think that the white is going to look nicer for this project. So if you can find a pen tube that is white, that's much better. But if you can't, if it's a clear one, that's fine. So what I'm going to do is using my scissors, I'm just going to go ahead and cut a piece about, there's a piece about that big. So this is the point in the project where the shape of the wire starts to matter a little bit more. And what we're going to try to do is, now that we have the smaller individual pieces and they're a little bit easier to bend, create this shape with them. So this is just a nice EU shape. Piece of wire, the ends are as straight as we can get them. Doesn't matter if they're not perfectly straight. 
And now I'm going to repeat the process with the other two pieces. So the other thing I'll be using is uh, the bottom of another pop can. I just thought of this while I was working, um, that this is something that these whisks do have on them that will make this project uh, significantly cooler. So take a little piece of the bottom metal because it's a little bit thicker and cut a circle out of it that is not very large. I'll show you the size in one moment. And the next thing that we're going to do is we're just going to take a thumbtack and we're going to puncture six holes into this. Two holes. So now that we've got our six holes punched, what we're going to do is thread our wires down through them. Okay, so once we have all of our pieces threaded through each of their respective holes, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to gather them all in the middle, pinch them tight, and I'm going to thread them into our piece of plastic tube. Okay, so I've got them all threaded. It's a super glue. This is something you might want to consider using if you want this, uh, this project to be really secure it's going to make a big difference. Uh, you can also use uh, wood glue, white glue, hot glue. Most glues would work, even like silicone caulking, something like that. Just something that's going to get in there and secure this all in place. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull them out ever so slightly, put a drop, put a drop of super glue on, and then push them back in and now they should be nicely fixed in place. So as a final step, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make some subtle adjustments with these pieces to get them all fitting the way I want. Um, so they're all kind of nicely centered, so I'm just going to bend them a little ever so slightly. But you know what, I think that that looks pretty good. Yeah. Also, check this out. My grandpa just gave this to me.